So the fam and I went to the big city, which is about 45 minutes away, and uh, got stocking stuffers. We also stopped by one of the friendly local Asian markets to get some stuff to try. I always like their fancy noodles and stuff like that. But one thing that we really like is Panang curry. Now it's a Thai curry, so it's kind of coconutty and limey, but it is one place that deer really goes good. I know I said I like to make it very mild, but you can't go wrong with a curry like this because you can still taste a little bit of, of nature in the deer meat and it turns out fantastic. So I'll show you how to make it. Panang curry paste. This will make two curries, but it'll be good. Trust me. So you sizzle up your curry paste takes about a half a can. I use a little bit less in case, you know, the wife doesn't want it that hot. And then we'll stir in the deer meat and half of the coconut milk and let it simmer for a while. So as you can see, we added a half can of coconut milk to this recipe, which is just right on the back of the can of Panang curry. It's going to simmer for a while and reduce a little bit, and then we'll finish it with the other half can and it'll make the sauce nice and thick and delightful and we'll probably garnish it with like some green onions a little bit of cilantro or something and uh, generally you put it on rice and i like my greens underneath my wife likes them on the side but this is one of those places where deer meat is really good because it's really lean it's not going to grease up this dish it's not going to make it funky but you know it's kind of a substitute for lamb and indian food and and lean beef of Thai food and it works out really well for this I I honestly don't know if you could tell it was deer or not I don't know if you could tell the difference between deer beef musk ox or whatever in this recipe but all I know is it's damn good there we are finishing up nice coconut taste it's got a little zip to it and we'll plate it up here in a second I whipped up a little simple fruit salad, mostly for my wife, but I'm thinking this looks good. It's mangoes, kiwis, and what's called a raspberry orange. I don't know if it's some variation of a blood orange, but this uh, fun little citrusy thing, that'll help kill the heat and make it more palatable to those that don't like the, the hotness of it. Like I said, this isn't particularly hot, but it's about as hot as my wife will enjoy. There it is, all plated up. A couple of dumplings on the side. Some green onions and cilantro for garnish. On top of the bed of greens with a little bit of rice. Really good panang curry. Nom, nom, nom.